Hello queens, welcome to my channel. So we're gonna be talking about if casually dating is for you, is that how you wanna start off with? How do you go about it? So stay tuned. Hi, if you don't know who I am, I'm Sydney V. King. I'm a creator of Calling My King. I help transform women to create lasting love through Vedic astrology and neuroscience so that she becomes the queen of love. So I want to be specifically talking about casually dating. And if you didn't know that, if that's something that you should go for, I want to talk about the pros and cons and how to go about it and when to transition as well. So let's get started. So I want to talk about the pros about casually dating. So the best part, if you're a busy type of person, there is no real commitment. So you can obviously go and meet people and you can different location. If you're traveling, you can go ahead and do that as well. You can always disclose that you're traveling and you want to hang out with somebody and go on dates and have dinner and that's that's the way to go about it. So that's one clean way of doing it. There is no real demand of it. You can date as many multiple people. Is it, You can date from a variety of type of people, from somebody who's serious or somebody who's young or old. It doesn't matter. Whatever is all open up for you. So that is really important about it it's non-committal it is not tight on your schedule so if you became available you can say hey i'm available and let's do this so let's go and have dinner together or let's go see a show together there is no physical or emotional requirement there is no real expectation because you're just meeting somebody for the first time or the second time where it doesn't have to be in your residential area it could be when you're traveling on vacation wherever that is comfortable for you and it's convenient which is great about something about casually dating okay so if you're the type of person who is not into the casual dating and that's something like you know what you want right you don't have a lot of time that's another thing and you're not into dating a variety of type of people you there's a certain type that you really want to narrow down okay then casually dating is not for you the cons about casually dating is it's too random there's just too many variety of people you kind of like your structure right that's one thing you probably have some sort of attachment so you don't like to be ghosted is another thing right um so and you really enjoy having emotional bond is really important to you so having a like a deep connection is really important not like you can't do that in casually but casually it's like you're in you're out right there's not a whole lot of like thinking about it right you can be talking to them over the phone or one or twice and then you're just meeting with them right here it's like you're emotionally building up a character right so you really want to have that deep connection and really be serious about either wanting to either get to know them a little bit more than it is just surface level okay the cons about casually dating as well somebody could be newly like broken up and you could be a rebound right there's not a lot of whole spontaneous action that happens when you're casually dating because you don't really know until you ask the right question unfortunately that's how it rolls out to be you already have your five non-negotiable lists so casually dating in general like you don't want to be dating a con man right and i think you want to filter those out as well there is many factors why you don't want to be casually dating is like you don't really like meeting a whole bunch of new people you don't like the whole fact that there's two johns that you're probably dating at the same time and and is hell confusing for you right maybe like you're too much of an introverted person so meeting a whole bunch of people could be a little bit of a challenge for you because it takes a lot of courage and time as well to do that 
let me tell you about this casually dating as well there is a monetary investment that happens behind the scene that's even getting into like an uber or a taxi to get there or it's either paying either you guys are paying half and half of the activities that you're doing or the dinners that you're going to because it is casually right there is a financial investment that happens either you're paying for a subscription too that's another investment that's part of it getting ready is is expensive too like getting the right hair makeup and you're looking at your very best right and just like at work and presentation why you want to look your very very best so that is the biggest thing that you can encounter about casually dating the pros and cons when do you want to transition from casually dating? It's something that you want to already narrow down. You want to be very into a, a serious relationship and maybe having multiple uh, intimacy with people is not your thing as well. So that's when you move into somebody's like, I'm looking for my goal is to look to be in a serious relationship, either moving to a boyfriend, making sure that either he's financially secure himself, um, there's much more of a deeper intimacy that happens between just having fun and now let's let's move it to the next level, right? And sometimes casually can be an awesome thing as well, especially if you're just broken up um, recently and you just want to get out there in the market and just feel better about like just meeting people. Sometimes meeting new people makes you feel better too and getting ready makes you feel better as well. So all on top of everything else on adding on to it, if it's going to feels like it's fun, then go for it, right? But if you're looking for a specific goal and you're targeting down a goal and you don't have time to waste, either it's an age factor or you have a biological clock and you really want to be serious with somebody, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Also, join my membership so I can give you a little bit more detail of even, even when it's a transition stage, it can be very confusing as well. So if you are casually dating and you're just having fun, please tell them that in the very beginning, that through text message or over the phone first. And if that's, they decide to meet up with you, that's totally fine. If that's something you guys are not aligned with, then you know what, it's okay. That's, you probably didn't scare them off. You just gave them the right direction. That's all I have to say to that. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now. Glad you enjoyed the contents. Give me a like and share and subscribe. The bell button might be helpful. Did you get a chance to check out my Super Queen membership? Because we go into deep dive of your love life and maybe use some practice and connect with other heart centered queen as well. Join us. The link is in the description. I got over 300 videos on this channel. And I think I picked the next one is right for you. So see you there.